and welcome back my fairies. I'm Mopsy Rupnik and it has been a hot minute since we've last been able to do a reaction video so I am super excited. Uh, for those of you who haven't been watching my live streams I hope you enjoy the new background. Oh my goodness I am so excited to finally be getting new miraculous content. I hope you guys are excited too. I know that a lot of the fandom has been kind of uh, iffy uh, since season five, but uh, I, you guys know, I absolutely love season five. I loved the mental health messages, uh, especially with the the messages, you know, uh, that that. This is my own. This is my own thing. Reasons versus excuses. You can have a reason. But you shouldn't use that reason as an excuse. Okay, this is my reason, but it doesn't excuse it, so I still need to do better. Versus, this is my reason, so therefore I should be absolved of any consequences. That's the difference. That is the difference. Marinette did not make excuses. She had a reason, but she used that re She didn't see that reason as an excuse to, to keep doing it. She said, okay, no, this is my reason, but it still needs to stop. It doesn't excuse it. Anyway, anyways, <laughs> you guys also know that I, I, I loved that theme of season five, and uh, that was also the whole thing going on between Marinette and Gabriel was that Gabriel made excuses. He had his reasons, but he used those reasons to excuse bad actions. And Marinette's like, no, I understand your thought process. I understand your feelings. I sympathize with you. But it doesn't excuse the fact that you've done awful things. I loved that. I really did. <laughs> like a minute in, two minutes in, and all I've done so far is just pray season six. But we're here to watch the uh, Miraculous World London trailer. It's finally out. We uh, do have some information about uh, the special. Uh, now, I might have picked this up from uh, an incorrect source, uh, but uh, I believe this is the official synopsis. I've been trying to avoid spoilers, because I know there's been a lot of spoilers. Uh, so I've not really been on Twitter much. You guys know I don't really go on Twitter a whole lot other than if I need to make a post. But uh, I have seen some stuff. I know, fr from my understanding uh, with the synopsis, is that somebody is going to figure out Marinette's identity. And then Bunnix is going to come along. We don't know yet, or at least I don't know yet. I don't know if this has been spoiled or not, but uh, as far as I'm aware, we don't know yet if it's future Bunnix or present day Bunnix, who is like, hey, I know that this is the time when I'm supposed to be able to come home, but there's a problem in the future. I would be fine with either way. It'd be nice to see future Bonix go out with a bang, but also be nice to see our Bonix actually be able to do something besides just like that one episode where her future powers came in handy. But uh, yeah, we know that somebody's going to figure out Marinette's identity and they have to travel through time to figure out what exactly happened. We also know that this is going to take place immediately after the uh, the events of the season five finale before the uh, the uh, the the final ending, uh, so which is where they have the party. So it's like immediately after Marinette uh, defeats Gabriel and reclaims the Peacock Miraculous, but loses the Butterfly Miraculous. It's like, oh, that's a shame. Or, or no, she didn't reclaim the Peacock Miraculous. She reclaimed the other Miraculous. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. Felix has the Peacock Miraculous and he's keeping it! Oh my gosh! I'm supposed to be good at remembering these minute little details that everyone else forgets. That's a big detail too! Oh, you guys are probably ripping me in the comments. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's about all that I at least know going into this. Uh, my friend Dem did send me the links to the trailers, one of which had a bit of a spoiler in it. We saw Marinette hugging Natalie and her face completely red like she's been crying so it's like does Marinette reveal her identity to Natalie? That would be interesting 
But at the same time, it's like, you told Natalie, but you're not telling Cat Noir or Adrian. <laughs> he was willing to tell Marinette his identity. Oh, poor Adrian. It's like, if that's the case, that means that, the, that he, not counting Amelie, Adrian is the only member of his family who doesn't know <laughs> Ladybug. Oh. But we'll see. We'll see if that's actually the case. Uh, I could be wrong. It could just be like a, oh, it could just be a, uh, a fake out. We'll see. Because like, oh, you know, she is Adrian's girlfriend. But like, it makes sense for her to see Natalie after the whole thing with Gabriel. We'll see. Let's go ahead and actually watch the trailer. I've got to slow down a little bit, I think. Oh, no, it is normal speed. Okay. So, uh, it looks like... So, I was staring at this for a bit. It looks like she's putting her earrings away. But I don't know if she's actually going to be putting that putting Tiki away or not. Uh, this looks like it's immediately after Gabriel made his wish. You can see what's left of Gabriel on the ground there. Gosh, that's dark. Uh, when she walks up to Amelie's casket. Oh, we get a little flashback. Oh, Adrian crying in his room. Oh, my son. And then he looks up probably from uh, her getting, from her showing up there. Because we know that she's going to go and save Adrian and Kagami. So I did see a leaked image of uh, Bug Noir talk, see, uh, seeing Adrian and Kagami in their in one of their rooms. It looks like here she's cataclysming the uh, the containment unit that they made for the Kwamis. So that's good to see that destroyed. That had to be therapeutic for the Kwamis themselves. And then we see her taking that away. Okay, so it looks like uh, Adrian's bodyguard is here too. Kagami's all sad. Obviously, they don't. They're not going to tell him that Gabriel was monarch. They're telling him that, uh, you know, uh, Gabriel saved monarchs, or, or Gabriel helped Bug Noir to defeat monarch, which Kagami is like, more wise. It's like, yeah, I can understand Kagami being upset about, I never even thought about that before, that Kagami would, might be upset that they're hiding Gabriel's identity, especially from Adrian, because like, I will agree that Adrian has the right to know. I, I do agree that, that, that he has the right to know. I don't think it's necessarily a quote-unquote bad thing that Gabriel's identity is being hidden. Adrian does have a right to know, but I do think that uh, his life is better for the world not knowing that Gabriel was monarch. But... Uh, like, I, for Adrian's own mental health, I'm okay with him not knowing right now, right this moment. Later on down the future, there could be some drama, and I will be here for that drama. I am predicting major drama in season six or seven when Adrian finds out that his father was monarch. I want that drama. That is drama. Yes, okay. Yes, he has the right to know. But does he have to know now? He, when he's already this emotionally fragile. The, the boy cannot handle another heartbreak. Not right now. So, like, he's already finding out that his father is dead. <laughs> My son is crying. <laughs> oh, poor Adrian. Yeah, like... Obviously, he's going to be upset that his father is dead. Do you really want to add the extra salt into this wound? Your father is dead. Hits, hits really hard. It hits hard enough on its own without the added of, oh yeah, he was also monarch. And put you in this miserable situation. Because he was planning to do awful things. Oh yeah, the reason your father was ignoring you was because he was becoming a super villain to attack all of Paris and make your friends miserable. You really want to rub that salt into his already fresh wounds. Oh. Kagami's uh, yep, mad. And 
Um, okay, so here's the, the thing that was spoiled to me through the thumbnail. is Marinette bugging Natalie. And her face is, like, really red. So I'm assuming that this is after... That, that this is before Bug no she has Bug Noir goes out to find Adrian. It's like, it's, it's unclear here if Natalie knows... Actually, let's try... Can I see if she has the ring on her? Well, I guess it would be on her other hand, so we wouldn't be able to see that. Yeah, let me try slowing this down a little bit. I apologize that there's no sound, but YouTube will copyright strike me if I turn the sound on. Yep, no, okay. It doesn't uh, show it. Okay. So, switch that back to... Oops. Back to normal. Alright, and you see Marinette. That's obviously, like, the night after. So, she's falling asleep. She looks like she has been crying her eyes out. She's got dark circles under her eyes. My goodness, girl. I mean, she's been through a lot today. I don't blame her. But, like, that is not mascara running. That is dark circles under her eyes. The girl has been through a lot today. She wasn't able to get proper sleep because of the nightmares. Then she goes straight over and fights Monarch. Then she has to go and tell Adrian the awful news. Slightly sugarcoating it by not telling him that his father was also Monarch. And like, the girl, the girl has been through a lot. Okay, so, oh, it's so nice to see the Kwamis back in Marinette's room. They're sleeping outside the box. It's like, oh, yes, I'm sure they're all really happy to be back home with Marinette. But this is, uh, this is foreboding. So, wait, was that New Room? Hold up, hold up, hold up. That was New Room, right? Um, is, if this is the same scene. No. Because New Room was taken by Lila. I mean, I will say this, that does make some sense. Like, Marinette said that she couldn't find the Ladybug Miraculous, but that sequence would take place after the London special. So, did is, is this version of events where she actually manages to find the Butterfly Miraculous? And then something happens in this special where Nuru's just gone? Okay, so there's the... Okay, so that's like... Oh, okay, so I think that's Natalie and Bug Noir. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to tell because it's blurry, but that's definitely Bug Noir because she's wearing red. In black. It, if that was Marinette, then this part would be white. So that's definitely Bug Noir. So Natalie actually came down to talk to Bug Noir. But we know that uh, Marinette was down here by herself. So it's possible that Natalie came down here while Marinette was down was down here looking at Amelie and might have even comforted her in the moment. That could be how Natalie figured out or found out Marinette's identity was if she didn't reveal herself to Natalie, but rather Natalie just came down and saw her after waking up and realizing, wait, I feel better now. What the heck just happened? So this is our villain here. I would like to get a better look at this person. Because I know some people were thinking that this might be... Uh, this might be Lila, or rather Cerise. It's hard to tell. They're slouched over, so I can't tell if that's... I guess the shoulders might tell? Um, uh, it's, really, it's really hard to tell if this is male or female. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So... Okay, no, yeah, this is Nuru in... Okay, so yeah, Nuru's with Lila. Okay, Cerise. I need to start getting used to calling her Cerise. I'm used... I've, I've got five whole seasons of calling her Lila. I'm sorry, it's gonna be an adjustment period. 
So, okay, that makes more sense. They must have just been, uh, that must have just been editing to make it look like Nuru was in uh, Marinette's room, but no. Nuru is with Cerise in the catacombs. I recognize the backdrop. So Nuru is, like, all sad, like, Gabriel was finally defeated, and now I've got another evil master who's even more cunning. Way more cunning, actually. So, I'm, okay, that's clearly... Okay, a lot of stuff just happened there. That's clearly Bonix reaching for Marinette. She looks like she's in her pajamas on her balcony. And, okay, this is this is clearly Cerise uh, messing around with uh, her tablet. Yeah, because th this, all this stuff here, this is definitely Cerise. Well, that uh, the frame is not doing her hand much justice. Oh my goodness. What was going on with her frame there? Or, er, with her uh, hand. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, and there's Bug Noir traveling to London. It's like, well, a lot of stuff just happened, like, really fast there. And that looks to be the end. Okay, no, yeah. Okay, so yeah, it is present day Bunnix, because, like, we see young Bunnix here. Okay. I've seen this poster before, but I was trying not to look too much into it. So, okay, so yeah, that is young Alex, young Bunnix. That's our Bunnix. It's so good that to know that our Bunnix is going to get, like, some actual spotlight. Because, like, she... I don't think she even had a speaking role that episode. We just hear Ladybug talking uh, as a voiceover while uh, Alex is doing her thing. But, uh, well, it looks like there might be more to the trailer after this. So, let's go ahead and keep going. Oh, okay, that... That is a lot. Autumn 2024. Hey, we're already halfway through September. That means it's coming out soon. So, if it's coming out before winter, that means it's probably coming out in October. Because November is usually when you... When, like... Well, it would either be October or November, I suppose, but it, I could see it, if it's in November, it's probably going to be, like, early November, because November is usually when winter starts. That's why Thanksgiving is when it is, because you're, you know, you've harvested everything before the winter, so it's probably going to be coming out in either October or November. I doubt that they would simply be saying autumn 2024 if it was planned to come out this month. We only have two months left of September, so it'll probably be either October or November. Uh, let me rewind a bit and slow this down a bit so we can actually see what's going on here. Oh, I think I actually had it the wrong speed before. Let's put it on a quarter speed. And I'm going to use my uh, space bar to get through this. Okay, so we got a yellow yo-yo. We did we did see in the poster that her costume was yellow. So I'm guessing this is, I believe they're calling her Chrono Bug. So something, whoops. Okay, so I saw that, go, that goes really fast, even at a quarter speed. There we go. So we got Alex and we got an untransformed Marinette in the burrow. So young Bunnix and Marinette in the burrow. That makes sense because we saw her uh, we saw her taking Marinette into the burrow earlier. And then we see this person who I am leaning uh, to being female. So this could be Cerise, but I also have a feeling that it might not be Cerise, considering the fact that uh, if they're going to reveal this person's identity, and it, season six just will not work with Cerise being the new butterfly holder if they don't know who she is, or it, it won't work if they do if they find out who she is in the London special. The so specials are always canon. All right, and there's Chrono Bug reaching for uh, this person. Uh, oh, okay. Ladybug equals Marinette Du Pen Chang. Yup. That makes sense. And is there anything else? Yeah, Nuru 
and this person who came to see Cerise. And there's Chronobug looking like she's taking the exact same tablet out. And, okay, the villain is diving after it. Then they kick the yo-yo. And that's about it. Okay. So just some uh, some scenes that are uh, going to be coming up. But yeah, uh, definitely uh, look forward to uh, my review of that of that special when it comes out. And we also have another trailer as well. Uh, this video is already 20 minutes long, so I'm going to go ahead and end this here. But make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when the uh, reaction video for the season six trailer comes out tomorrow, which I'll be recording right after this because I cannot wait and I want to go watch TBC's uh, reaction video because I know she just put one out too. But uh, yeah, definitely look forward to that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos from me. It really does help me out. Uh, and we also do all sorts of fun stuff on this channel, including playing video games, we do art, and also sometimes talk about cartoons and anime. So if you enjoy this stuff, then be sure to ring that bell icon to never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I hope you all have a very magical day.